online, I would like to also thank Evangelist Bamberg for this opportunity to speak here. And, and I thank God and I applaud all of the women of color Amen. that have come before me. I just I thank God for them. And I want to just thank all of you right now. Thank you for four more years. Yeah. <laughs>
very, very prestigious law firm. Met, you know, a good living. Good living. But was this what I really wanted to do? Sitting behind a desk, fame, fortune, was that what it was all about? Is that what I wanted to give back to all those people that had put into me? So, I decided that maybe this would not be the place for me, but while I was working there, I met this intern one summer. Everybody thought since we both went to Harvard, hey, let's hook them up, let's get them together. I thought, I don't see anything in him. Why should I go to hear about him? But who would ever imagine the journey that we may eventually take So, lo and behold, guess what? I married him. I married him. Wonderful man. But still, was I fulfilled in this job at this prestigious law firm? So I decided I quit. I would take a cut in pay and go and do what I knew I was supposed to be doing, and that was giving back. Giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. Giving back to those young people mm -hmm. so they would believe that they had a chance in this world. A world that we saw sometimes on the south side that was not always so great, not nice, but I wanted to give back. So I became involved, involved in <coughs> training programs to help those young, young adults develop the skills that they would be able to go on and pursue future careers. Then comes my husband's vision. The vision to become president. Wow. Hmm. President of the United States. Wow. What would that mean for us? Hmm. What would that mean? Would we change? Would we ever be the people that we were before. Would it change us? At that point in time, we, we had children. My fear for them would be, how could I keep them grounded? How could I keep them grounded not to think that they were better than this child here? How would I do that? Would I be able to do that? Because I know that Integrity is, is who I am. Humility because of, I didn't get where I am today because of me. Never because of me. There were so many that struggled in the process. My fear, again, those self-doubts came. Would I be able to handle the ridicule that I knew he would have to go could I do it? Could we do this? What about our marriage? Could it survive all of this? Me. Am I first lady material? Am I? This young girl that grew up on the south side. What would people expect of me? Would they change my hair? Would they want to change my clothes? Would they want to change me altogether? Was I ready for that? But I knew we had a responsibility. We had a responsibility to those people that believed in us. Those people that had sacrificed those people that had given us so much. I thought about my dad. He had passed on by this time. All that he did, that I would have what I had, the opportunities that, that
that came about because he worked so hard. He was so determined. He was so dedicated. Even when I knew that he didn't feel the best that he he still did it for her family. We had a responsibility to the United States. People were looking up to us. But we couldn't do it alone. There's no way we could have done it alone, that we did it alone. All of you out here. Because I look at all of you out here. You're just like me. And Barack. You raise families. You work hard. You want for your families. You're determined to give them the things that you did not always have. You put your children first. You believe in family. Although we may live in different areas, we still believe in the same thing. We want the very best for this country. So we could, we could do it with the help of all of you all. I think back and I look back and Those that were in bondage and slavery, what they struggled and what they went through. The civil rights movement. You know, dogs, animals biting them, clubs being hit on their head, up until where we are now. I thank God for all of those people and for our children. We want, wanted them to be able to look and say that they believe in America. That they have opportunities just like their white counterparts. In 2008, when we started this journey, me beside my husband, when we started this journey, it looked improbable, like we would not make it. But here we are today, again, another four years, another four years. And all because of determination, dedication, integrity. Your word means something. You do what you say you're going to do. Hard work means something. Hard work means more than getting paid all the dollars in the world. It's about what you do to make somebody's life different. Humility. Show respect to everybody you come in contact with. Your word is bond. I'm reminded of when I was in South Carolina, when we were campaigning in 2008, there was a 10-year-old little girl. She said to me, if Barack Obama wins and he goes to the White House, it means I can imagine just about anything for myself. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh -huh. 10 years old, I can imagine anything for myself. I'm reminded when I think about that little girl that could have been me. I was not supposed to be here. Let's be realistic. A girl from the south side of Chicago, first lady. Hmm. Was I even supposed to go to Princeton? Was I supposed to go to Harvard? Come on, no. No. Hmm. Even when they said hmm, law school might be too much for her. Even when they said that my husband wouldn't, wouldn't be president. The first time a black president, who ever heard of such? But two times? Wow, wow. That's it. If I've ever had any doubt 
my doubts are all gone. I'm reminded of Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed this in the belly, I knew thee. God, and before thou camest forth of, out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So if there is anybody in here that could ever imagine, imagine the biggest possible dream that you could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. Because it is obtained yes. mm -hmm. from the Ethiopian woman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> from the Queen of Sheba, mm -hmm. from Harriet Tubman, mm -hmm. Sojourner Truth, mm -hmm. Coretta Scott King, mm -hmm. Maya Angelou, mm -hmm. Cabby Douglas. Mm -hmm. It is Possible. Amen. Yes. With God, all things are possible. Thank you all so much. And we pray that we will make you proud of us again.